Tonight in Waycross, several dozen people all wearing masks packed into a community meeting to listen to Reverend Farrell Malone make a case against the Waycross police officer who fired his gun at a car with kids inside. The GPI says a Waycross police officer didn't use his emergency lights as he tried to pull over a car that had run a stop sign. The GPI says the 16-year-old behind the wheel drove towards the officer, so the officer fired his gun at the car. No one was hit by bullets. There's still a discrepancy, though, over the chain of events, but the families of those children want the officer held accountable for his actions. News 4 Jackson reporter Eric Avignier was at tonight's emotional community meeting. Reverend Pharrell Malone organized this community meeting to discuss a plan to seek justice in this case, and once the meeting started, the Reverend did not hold back. Where a sworn police officer will shoot at children, nine years old, 12 years old, 13 years old, 15 years old, and 16 years old. Not at unarmed children. These children did not have a gun. They never accessed a gun. There was a gun in the car, but they didn't even know the gun was in the car. It was in the glove compartment. And Teresa said it is her gun. She told him where she bought it from. She bought it legally. She has the rights to own it. And he said, well, they tried to come at the officer. The 16 year old tried to come at the officer. I said, show me the body cam. Show me the dash cam. What we want, number one, is for justice to be immediately served. And that is that he is terminated and stripped of all credentialing as a peace officer. We want a state attorney general to issue this case to a district attorney in another district. This upcoming Saturday at around 9 a.m., folks will return to this church to sign a petition and possibly march through the community in protest. Reporting in Waycross, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.